Ahoy and welcome to Selfmade. Today we make a very simple um, laser tripwire. Um, will also work for an alarm, room or door alarm. And I will show you what happens when you pass it. And even even when the beam is hitting the LED again, it won't reset. And that's the sense of an alarm. And for the indicator, I've just uh, taken an old uh, um, CD ROM motor, electric motor. And you could just uh, make it hit a tiny bell or something. And also the LED as a silent alarm. If we clip the, the motor it will um, be just the LED. You can uh, run it to wherever you are sitting or hook it up to your cell phone. And this is the reset button. And that is actually it. Very simple and just made of uh, yeah, a couple of parts. Um, not hard to get. And here's an explanation for the circuit. Um, this is a phototransistor. External laser module. You can use a, an invisible laser or green laser. Whatever you prefer. If it's a true uh, home um, defense thing, then I would just use an infrared laser. Not a red or green laser. Green is um, even more visible than red, eight times more visible. And what we got here is the reset button. That's the resistor for the transistor. And um, that's the resistor for the LED. That's just an indicator LED. Um, as shown, that's an SCR switch. It holds the, the uh, flow when it, once the um, gate is, um, was broken. And this is the transistor. It um, switches the current once the phototransistor is sitting in the dark. Main switch. And that's actually it. I will show you guys the um, schematics. It's very simple. You can just, uh, if you have no idea how to put it together, just uh, um, I would copy it one-on-one -on, -one on those uh, um, boards and solder all the lines as shown on the schematics and then you're good to go. And now we try it out. And the silent alarm looks like this. LED on. Reset. LED on. And reset. And for the guys who really want to shock people, we have a, I uh, would like to say, tiny buzzer, but it's really loud. I love this reset button. And now for the headphone users, uh, plug your ears. Still there? Alive? Good. So very versatile, you can do whatever you want with it. And in the second part, I will show you what I do with it. For the guys who want to copy this, I have uh, made an Instructable on Instructables.com. The link's in the description. And um, yeah, as always, like it, share it, make it go around the world, subscribe if you like. And I see you guys next time.